Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, we are getting ready to head out. I've got all the kids in the car. I've got my workout outfit on. Um, we are headed to the gym. It is eight o'clock, right, not even eight o'clock yet. We're running early because I'm headed to Walmart to do my Walmart grocery pickup. I just got a few things. Um, when you do the pickup, they have a $30 minimum order and we needed some stuff that I forgot on the list or we ran out of. So, um, I went ahead and done a grocery pickup for this morning so that way we'll have it. We're kind of, we're kind of out of like snack stuff for the day and some other things. So, um, I figured it'd be perfect. I put the time from eight to nine. That way I have to be at the gym at nine for my class, but it'll work out perfectly and I'll get there and get my groceries. They'll load up and I can, um, I kind of decide whether I'm going to. I got just a couple of cold items. I think I'm just gonna bring like a lunch box with some ice pack in it, some ice packs in it, and I think I'm just gonna do it that way versus like coming home. Um, I just don't know if I'll have time to come home. So we are gonna do our grocery pickup. We're gonna head to the gym, and the kids are in the car. I hear one of them screaming, but. All right, we made it to Walmart. Let's see how long it takes them to get them out here. Last time I done this, which you guys may have saw in my grocery haul, um, I did not have the app yet, so I wasn't able to check in, but I did check in before I left this time and they have like a Tracker on my phone to know when I get here. So We'll see how long it takes. We just pulled in so we'll see. All right. We've been here like Not even a minute and here she comes with my groceries. Let's see All right, dear. Thank you. you have a good one. Perfect. Yes. I think I even have time to bring them home real quick before we have to head to the gym. So I think we're gonna do that. I'm telling y'all, if y'all have a Walmart grocery pickup near you, it's where it's at. Like. There's no way I'd get these four kids out to bring them in Walmart to get something. So, at least by myself. So, mm, that's where it's at. It's perfect. Perfect for me. Alright, got everything in. I didn't get a lot of stuff. I really just needed a few things. So, I'm going to get, I think I just got a couple cold things in here. Okay, so I found, or I'm going to try these. These are true lime. Just the lime ones. I don't think of. Hmm, I think it's something different than I thought it actually was. So we gonna, I'm gonna try it in my water today and I'll let you know how it is because I've never seen those. Um, just the ones like this, um, they're a little different than the true lime I've been getting. All right, so I've got some lunch meat that needs to be put up and I think I've got one more cold thing. Yeah, some spray butter and I think that's all the cold stuff I've got. And then just some other stuff. I've got some oatmeal and some different snacks and cereal bars and uh, animal crackers. And I had to get me some body wash and um, Ethan some drinks and uh, some of my wraps, some of my LA Extreme Wellness. And I think that's about it. My legs are on fire. That was a really good workout. Um, it was the cycling class, and if you guys have ever done cycling, it is an intense, intense workout. And um, I was sweating so much, so much more than I sweated in my cardio kickboxing class yesterday. So, it was a really good workout. And everybody's eating, wanting a snack. You want a cereal bar? Yeah. And Lainey picked some animal crackers. You want animal crackers for your snack? And Ren's eating a little cereal bar for her snack. For those of you guys who work out, do you eat breakfast before you work out? If you work out in the mornings, I guess. Um, I have a friend on YouTube, Daniela Diaries, if y'all never heard of her. She's so sweet. I love her. And I actually talked to her yesterday or the day before yesterday one and asked her because she um, knows a lot more than I do about working out and stuff. She works out every day and she's so good with that. So I asked her about it and so she gave me some advice on it. But do you guys eat breakfast before you work out? I did not this morning mostly because I wasn't that hungry this morning and I just had so much going on getting groceries and stuff. Um, but now I'm starving 
and the kids are eating their snacks and I've ate a few of their animal crackers and now I've just got to get some food in me before I just snack on all their snacks. So I've got me some center cut bacon cooking and I've got some eggs that I'm going to cook and I'm going to cook some toast with it. So I'm fixing the kids lunch if I can find plates. I had every intention of bringing them outside this morning and playing and then I came home and this turkey that I got. I came home and um, jumped in the shower real quick, which I can't believe I was actually able to do, but the kids were being good, so I jumped in there very, very quickly, and I don't never wash my hair in the morning, but um, I really, I don't think I mentioned this today, um, I really need to start bringing my body wash to the gym to start showering at the gym, that way, like, I don't have to do it once I get home because kids take up a long time when I get home and that way I'm not having to wait until nap time to start getting myself ready and um, that way I'll get a good jump start on that. These kids are loud y'all. Oh, all right, I'm fixing them some lunch. Got some turkey. Something that I struggle with is just trying to find that balance between everything. Trying to find the balance between all four kids. Trying to find the balance between making sure I'm spending enough quality time with them, um, playing with them enough. Um, trying to find the balance between me time and me and Ethan time, which um, we did go to Savannah. I've got my knife. I don't know if y'all saw that. Um, cutting up cheese. We did go to Savannah a couple weeks ago, and that was so nice. And, um, try, you know, now that I'm going to the gym, I'm like, uh, is it a good thing for the kids to, it's really hard. Um, just trying to find that balance. So, if you guys got the magic secret to that. Um, then, yeah. Um, something else. Y'all, I say the word, um, all the time. Y'all notice that in my videos? I don't know why. When I finish a sentence, every time I finish a sentence, I'm like, um, um, just trying to find my words, I guess. Oh, trying to get better at that because when I'm editing these videos, I am so frustrated with myself and I try to edit out all the ums in them. Sometimes my life is just getting by each day. I know I showed mostly the good parts, but... So many times I go to bed or I get the kids down at night and I'm doing something else. And at night time I start thinking, I should have done this with the kids today. I should have done that. I've probably done this wrong. I've probably done that wrong. But uh, I guess that's, uh, that's motherhood for you. <laughs> and then there's not only all those things, but there's also, um, bit, you know, we're foster parents. So there's visits and doctor's appointments and so many different things that come along with that too so saying that my life is busy is an understatement uh, my life is extremely busy so i am unloading my dishwasher right now that's what i'm doing while i'm talking while the kids are eating because i actually have time to do it are some days i feed my kids mac and cheese or pb and j's and there's some days i feed my kids healthier options Today is one of those days, but that, this is something that I actually eat that's healthy. So, balance. We are walking down to the trampoline for a bit to let the kids play. We just got done with supper. Come on, Ren. You got drink all over you. You were drinking a juice box. Was you drinking a juice box and it spilled all over you? Yeah. You want to go jump? Hey, hey. You want to go jump? Good job. Mama. Pretty cool angle. Um, um, Pretty trees in the background. <laughs> this, isn't this the life? Sitting out on gazebo watching the kids play. Daddy had to get up and help one of the kids. <sighs> it's so nice out here. I love this gazebo and this just this simple little patio furniture that Ethan's parents gave us. I need to get some cushions for it. I was actually talking about that with Delaney the other day, how we need to go pick up some cushions to go out here. I think it would be nice. Um, Delaney and I were talking, Daddy. We should put some cushions on these. I think that would be comfortable. And then, yeah, we need to 
I'd like to stain this. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you guys go to ever go to Sam's Club, have you seen, oh, I got a bug flying around me. <laughs> okay, have you seen the slip and slide that Sam's Club has? It is, how many feet did I say it was whenever I went? I texted Ethan when I was there. How many feet was it? I can't remember. 75, does that sound right? No? no? Oh, Daddy's got a picture of it. I might have to put it right here. Anyway, Sam's Club has that huge slip and slide that I think would be so fun for the kids. It's like $100, and I almost got it that day I was there. I texted a picture to Ethan. And I was like, we should get it for the kids. It'd be so fun, um, but I didn't. But I, that would be really fun. I should go get it for them. We've got two sleepy babies that are ready for bed. What time do your kids go to bed? The babies go to bed at around seven, seven to seven thirty, normally seven o'clock. And then the little boy goes to bed normally around them, maybe like 30 minutes after them. Delaney goes to bed usually around eight. So, um, yes, my kids are ready for bed early because they're babies and um, they're just ready. So, all the kids are in bed. Close to time to let you go to bed. She's eating a pop soup because I was really ready for my ice cream and I knew she was gonna want some if I didn't give her something. So this stuff is so good. The chili cow, this is the peanut butter one. Sweet cream peanut butter or something. It is so good. And I tried a different one. I think the brownie one and I didn't really care for that one that much. This peanut butter one is so good and it's for those of you on Weight Watchers, it's six points for this whole thing. So you should try it because I've tried a lot of um, the protein ice creams that are supposed to be healthier for you. This is probably my favorite. It's so good and the points for it are really good. So Delaney and I are just going to relax. She's going to go to bed after she eats her popsicle. And I'm going to end the vlog. Daddy just went to his uh, softball game and it was late tonight so we were not able to go with him. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Can you give him a thumbs up? And we'll see you guys next time. I hope you'll subscribe if you're new. Bye.